I'm gonna make my famous meatloaf. Uh, it is ridiculously delicious. Um, here are the ingredients for the meat part of the meatloaf. And then, of course, you have to wrap it in bacon. That's the only way it's delicious. Uh, the secret ingredient right here is uh, not for the meatloaf. That is for me to drink. So, step one is the most important step. Pour yourself a glass of wine. The second step is to pour in, I use turkey burger instead of hamburger. Um, you're already getting enough grease from the bacon, so you really don't need to use um, beef. Uh, this is a three pound, 48 ounces. Then we're going to put in about half of a diced onion. Diced onion. Next, we need to add two eggs. Okay, and then we'll need to add just a splash of milk. And I'll actually show you this step because I don't normally measure things out. Maybe I should, so. So what, quarter cup? Quarter cup sounds good. Then you need to take an entire sleeve of crackers. These are just saltine crackers. They just get the cheap ones. They don't have to be anything special. And you smash them up um, nice and small. After you got them all smashed up, you just dump them into the bowl. And it's easiest to smash them while they're still in the package, but you gotta be careful because if you pop a hole in it, it's going to be a huge mess. Then we're gonna add some of this, and I'll let you pronounce that because there's so many different ways that people pronounce it, and I know mine's gonna be wrong. I just get the cheap brand, um, great value. And I you do about, what, eight shakes or so. And then um, some liquid smoke. This one is um, natural hickory. There's other ones. I prefer this one. So let's throw some of that in there. Then you gotta add some spices. I use some seasoned salt. And like I said before, I don't really measure things out. So um, I would estimate like a tablespoon or so there. And some garlic powder because I'm allergic to garlic salt. So I throw some of that in there. Same thing. I don't know how much that is. So I'll let you decide. Maybe a teaspoon. I don't know. And then some Mrs. Dash. Then you just mix this all together. I use a wooden spoon. A lot of people use their hands but that's gross. So after it's completely mixed together and you have everything all evenly mixed in like you don't see any egg yolk there or anything like any big chunks of onion in other places we're going to dump this whole thing onto a cookie sheet or in this instance we're going to use a um, pampered chef uh, baking sheet and then you're going to mold it and um, you just do that by like it's just like playing with clay you just dump it onto the pan mold it into a log and i'll show you that so here is, I decided to use a different pan. Um, I was going to use the Pampered Chef one, but I think I normally use this one. It's been a while since I made meatloaf. So I just threw it all on here in a great big glob, and it just looks like grossness. And this is the part. I actually, if you have um, a ring or anything, you might want to take it off because this is meat, and it's disgusting. It'll, like, get all up in your business. So just kind of pile it all onto this nasty pile. And then you're just going to mold this into a log. So, and some people will flatten this out and then roll it up. And I think that that is a waste of time and energy when you can just, you know, make it into a basic log. No one's going to see this anyway because it's going to be covered in bacon. So, no worries. And then, once you got this into a decent sized log, um... You're going to take your bacon, and then you take this bacon, and what we're going to do is just kind of straddle it over top of this beautiful little log we just made. So, like this. And I just used this bacon yesterday on our Sonoran dogs that I epically failed to um, record correctly, and then my son later told me that I held the camera wrong. So. Um, you can make this look pretty and weave it, like pick up this piece of bacon, 
you know, and then kind of like weave it through like this and then like this. Um, and it kind of makes for a better appearance of your, but I'm not that picky. And it does add a lot of bacon to the um, meatloaf, which I guess isn't a terrible thing. So here's the finished product. I didn't do anything fancy. I just threw some bacon on there. Um, tried to cover as much of it as I possibly could. The oven is on 350. And we're just going to throw this bad boy in here. And it will cook about, well, as long as it takes my potatoes to get done, which is usually anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. So here's where it gets kind of tricky. Every single time I make a meatloaf, I obviously make a sauce to go on top of it. I don't just use ketchup or barbecue sauce, which is what a lot of people do. Here are the ingredients that I put in it. Um, brown sugar, ketchup, onion powder, um, this sauce that nobody pronounces the same way twice, uh, liquid smoke, again, um, natural hickory, paprika, um, garlic powder because I'm allergic to garlic salt, cayenne pepper, and then this um, chipotle chili pepper, which is blurry. So... I don't really have these um, set amounts. I just kind of wing it every single time. So it's always something different. And I'm going to have my son come out here and record so I can throw this stuff in. So we're going to start with this ketchup. It's about half a bottle or so. I'm going to go ahead and use the whole thing because I did three pounds of um, meatloaf. So throw this whole thing in and like I said I don't really do um, I don't really measure it out so actually what I do is I have three different spoons here and I kind of try it after I add a bunch of ingredients and then see how it goes from there I'm gonna try and hurry because I'd like to keep this video under 10 minutes so we just put in some powder or some brown sugar probably three quarter no, no uh, maybe a half a cup some onion powder just dump it in until it looks good. I don't know what looks good. About that much, whatever that is. And we need some Worcestershire sauce. And then some liquid smoke. That gives it just like that smoky uh, flavor that you get from a lot of barbecues. Paprika. Um, stab that on in there. And then garlic powder. Then we need some cayenne pepper. Now these last ones are going to depend on how spicy you like it. I like mine to have a little bit of a kick, but then I like it to kind of have also a sweetness. I like the sweet heat, and this is what that does. So We'll just start with just a little bit of this first. So my son and I both tasted this, and the verdict is in. Um, that's perfect, so we're not going to add anything else to it. If you guys would like for me to try and put these into measurements rather than, you know, just trying to guess how much I put in, I can do that as well, but I've just never actually written the recipe down. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe. So my kids are telling me I should do a finished product. So um, I did homemade mashed potatoes. Uh, in other words, they're not boxed. And then here's the meatloaf. We just slice it long ways down, and then the bacon's right here on top. And then I saved a, I reserved a little bit of sauce for afterwards to put on there. So I think it turned out really well. What do you think? I don't want to be in the video, Mom. You're not in it, just your plate's in it. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get That's you one of in my it. Favorite dishes. So. And then there's his. Oh, wow. Yours, why does yours look delicious? Mmm. Probably because he hasn't taken any bites out of it yet.